becoming friends with you guys and having Joey in my life. And then Joey was like my neighbor. So he was a part of my life. He'd show up to Easter. he showed up to every event we had. I remember when he slipped my dad marijuana. <laughs> and, and my dad's eating popcorn. And my dad's like, I go, Dad, don't eat that. And he's like, and Joey, I remember dad, Joey. We should tell him they had weed popcorn. They had weed popcorn, popcorn yeah. Which is so it's evil because it gives you the munchies and so something to munch on. Too, it's Easter morning. It's like 10 in the morning. The girls are hunting eggs. And my and Joey goes, Mr. K, want to see the devil's dick today? <laughs> and my dad's like, right. well, sure, Joey. And so he they start <laughs> feeding <laughs> popcorn. And I go, Dad, well, well, what are you doing? And he goes, oh, Joey's got this popcorn. It's delicious, but you should try some. And Joey's going, ha, 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 ha. And so I, he didn't tell your dad at all. Did not tell my dad. And my dad. That seems to run in your family. Oh, it's getting drugged? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My Maybe dad, you're my dad, asking for it. My dad, my dad went in hard into weed after that. Whoa. Really? Yeah, converted hard him. into weed. It and, turned him into a weed head. And he smoked. Uh, he, he never smoked. He eats edibles. To this day, he eats edibles. So much so it ruined. I, I paid six thousand dollars each for us to play at Pebble Beach. Yeah, and my dad ate so many edibles he couldn't stand by the water. No, <laughs> no. no. It God damn it. Uh-huh. He's probably worried about alligators, rightly so. <laughs> God damn man, he. Uh, but yeah, Joey, Joey, that was the greatest <laughs> in, in my favorite time in living. It's so fun. I remember. You ever have something that's nagging at you until someone mentions it, and then yeah. you're like, "Oh yeah, I've been thinking about that, but I can't put a place on it." He gave me an edible, a twenty-five milligram edible, and then I ate it, and it's fine. And then there's something nagging at me. And then I, I, eventually someone was like, how are you enjoying that 25 milligram edible? And the way he said it was like, oh. and I looked back and the, the 25 was crooked. And I'm like, what? And I just peel it off and it says 250. Ooh. And I'm like, what? <sighs> That's Ooh. so much. That's so much. That's so much. 200 that energy. is so much. Well, that, there's very few people that know that energy of what? How's that feeling? How's that feeling? Yeah. I know that with you <laughs> it, yeah. intimately. I remember. And that's what kind of shoved us off of Sober October yeah, yeah. was that thing. All apologies. It's so tough to explain to people why I love you. And it, and it, <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. Oh, my God. It is. You're, you're the sweetest guy that I know. You're the most thoughtful, sensitive, insightful, funniest guy I know. You're, you're uh, the, one of my favorite human beings alive. And I have to stand next to you drugging me every time to defend you. Every time. I like surprises. Yeah. How I like, was I it no, no, no. My favorite was what? we went to Mark Norman's bachelor party, and you pulled me aside privately, and Ari looked me in the eyes. He goes, I need you to know I'd never drug you again. And I went, I know that. Because I need you to have a good time at Mark's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I yeah, just yeah, drink yeah. anything you want. Yeah. yeah. But how great was that when we were all fucked up on Molly? The sun setting in your old place, the place comedy bought, and Diaz is telling Joey stories. Joey Diaz shows up. Let me tell you something. Celebrate Joey Diaz for the rest of my life. I love that guy. I call him. I'm, I'm in a re- legit panic attack. I call him, <laughs> and I go, Joey, Ari just mollied me. And he goes, L- the words out of his mouth, dog, I'll be there at five. Shows up, takes the other half of what Molly ha- whatever Molly Ari yeah. has, he eats it, and he sits Bathing in the sunlight of a setting sun in my backyard, telling me, cocksucker, you ain't going to die. We're not dying tonight, okay? Let me tell you some stories. And he told us <laughs> stories, and we sat we there like, wow. mesmerized. And I and it was like watching God speak because the sun's bathing around him. I'm high as fucking shit. And I'm just looking at Ari going like, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I'm fucking, I'm a ride or die for that motherfucker. To that moment when he goes, dog, I'll be there at five. Yeah. And he showed, you know, you know how Joey is with time. Yeah. He showed up in five. And he had to That's walk through true. the house knowing what the house didn't know yet. Yeah. He walked through <laughs> and Leanne goes, Joey, what are you doing? And he goes, I can't talk to you, Mrs. K. I'll be back in 10. And then he came in and he goes, Leanne, everyone's a good guy out there. Don't fucking kill anybody. <laughs> Sorry, was, Leanne. Yeah, you know, God, man. She didn't wow. know yet. No, no, nah, she didn't. I had to pull her into the bathroom, and I had to say, "I need what I'm going to tell you is going to upset you, but I need you to take care of me and not you right now." And she goes, "What is it?" And I said, "Ari, slip me Molly." She shuts down, and I watch her. How, are you sober by then? No, no. you're full blown, gone, I am out of it. He's probably sober six hours later. Yeah, oh, on the plane Jesus. I was blowing up, and uh, and I watch her, f- her fucking go go white and she goes where is he and i go we had told Ari to leave early smart. we're like leave smart. before Le- well before we tell Leanne. you weren't high enough to not get and me so out of there said, he's gone he's gone he's not here and she goes okay okay 
what do I need to do for you? And I said, I said, I don't want to be in front of the girls. I'm really fucked up. She goes, uh, go to the comedy store. Your plane leaves at 11. Go to the comedy store right now. Hang out with some comics. Laugh. Have a good time. You're going to be fine. You're not going to die. Get on the plane. No rules. Drink. Do whatever you got to do to get yourself there. So I went to the store. The first person I saw was Davis Bade. Don't say a word. Okay. My inner whore showed up. You know this. You know this. <laughs> I was you know too. this. You know yeah. this. You know this. I'm a big fan of Davis Bade. I love Davis Bade. And all, and I know I'm not dying now. And I'm like, <laughs> and I tell Davis Bade, I go, he's like, he's like, hey, Bert. And I go, uh, someone's like, what? What's going on? And I was like, Ari just slipped me Molly. And the room shifts. They're like, what the fuck? And literally Ari Shafir walks in. He goes, anyone want a cocktail? And everyone's like, not from you. And everyone, it was it was one of the most surreal. It was the shittiest sober October I've ever had. Because my favorite part is us texting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but it was a, it was a surreal fucking uh, experience that you don't get, you know, you don't get to, you don't get to Normal have. people don't get that. It's hard to, it, it is. It is hard to defend you because I do love you. It's hard to, I mean, it's I, it's it's a crazy thing being a comic because you go, you know, when people get in trouble, like I remember Joe got in trouble and I, I posted a thing and then you're like, fuck, you realize people are going to shit, shoot shit your way. And then, but then you get weird people. Like I, I know I told you this, my dad, when uh, you know, you're getting, going through some shit, my dad's like, buddy. I respect a man who stands by his friends. And I go, that's what you got to be. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, you stand by your friends. That's the only thing that you respect out of a, a, a man. Does that sound weird? No, yeah. that's a big part of it. Yeah. It's a big part of being a man. Standing Not everyone loves you, man. A lot yeah. of people are out to fuck you. Well, a lot of people only think about themselves and they pretend to be caring about other people. It's a real problem. Because it's, yeah, it's not uh, good for you either. It's not Bert, good for that Bert, person. I'm sorry. I won't do that again. I love you, Ari. I love you too, buddy. I want your special to kill it. Thanks, dude. You're one of the funniest dudes I know. I'm in a weird emotional place right now. You're drinking. Sounds like I, you just drank what you I gave you. might be an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs>